Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of each video. In this video, we will learn about data extraction from different online sources. If you need the link of that online sources, please check them in the video description. First, we have to select our gene family in the respective plant species. For example, I am looking for heat shock protein 70 in tomato. So, I will make it sure that no one has worked on this protein family in the tomato. To make that confirmation, we use different search engines like NCBI, Google, etc. to make confirmation that no one has worked on that protein family in the respective plant. To do this, let's the, let's start the journey to check them in different search engines one by one. Open the Google in your browser and type NCBI. Then you will find National Center for Biotechnology. When you open it, then this window appears. So write in the address bar, you know wide analysis of heat shock protein 70 family and here select the PubMed and search. You will see that a lot of work have been done in HSP70 protein in different crop plants like Vigna radiator, here is a cabbage, here is a barley. Nicotiana to become, but we didn't find it in the tomato. So, make further confirmation. We write here the name tomato or its botanical name Salonum lacoporsicum. When you write the complete name Salonum lacoporsicum and search it, then you see. You didn't see any result about that protein family in the solenum lacoporsicum or tomato. So, we have confirmed that no one has worked on this protein family in the tomato. You can also find them or make sure you find them in the Google or other search engine. After making confirmation, we will find the theory protein of that family in a model plant. So for that purpose select protein and write heat shock protein 70 in Thaliana. We use Eraboxis Thaliana because it's a model plant. When you search it, you find the respective gene in that organism. So click on this. Here you find the detail of that gene. But we find the, we will find the poster from it. So click on that poster. Here is the sequence of that gene, but it is in nucleotide form, but we need the protein form, so we click on gene bank. On clicking gene bank, you will find the detail of that gene, but to find out the protein ID, scroll them, scroll down. Here you see the protein ID of that gene, so click on that. Then click faster. You will see the information of that gene with protein sequence. So you must copy it and save it into the Doc or text form 
so you will keep it for further theory and when you to write the results or other so you must know that which theory protein you have used to find out the heat shock protein from the tomato genome after that you will find the hsp70 domain in that sequence that that domain starts from which amino acid to which for that purpose copy that amino acid sequence write the pfam in google open that page click on sequence search and paste that sequence go so you will see that hsp7 protein domain is present and this domain starts from 9th amino acid to 618 amino acid so we will find that amino acid in this sequence so count it from here we run to 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this one is the 9th amino acid and this is the 6 3 0 So minus twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. So this is our HSP seventy domain. So we will use it to block in the tomato genome. For that purpose, write the tomato genome in Google. open it then click the species here you see the lot of species are present in which you want to work but we have selected the following like opercitum which is here so click on it click and block paste your domain domain sequence Here, change the target type from genome to proteome. Here, write about 200 and and go. We have found about 26 hits or that related genes in the tomato genome. So, for extracting their sequence, select them all and add to. chart after clicking them and adding it into the chart then view chart then select all and here click quick download quick download then select sequence peptide and download when you click on download they ask about the destination folder so write the file name sorry i'm like a person eat shock protein 70 protein click and save it in the destination folder save after saving it into the destination folder open the file you will see that all their gene present in that file but it must be clear that each line contains gene name and the next line contain the amino acid sequence for that press the cursor in start of amino acid and press enter so bring this gene name into next file also place the cursor in start of the gene name and press enter also delete this long name only remain this transcript 
name and delete this all. After arranging all the sequence like this form, also delete this star. For deletion, this star go to edit, replace all, find what, write, store, place with only place cursor and replace all. You will find that all the stars have been removed. And next work is also delete these short sequences. because these are not the complete genes. When you delete that short sequence and store, uh, so you will get the file in this form. So, now we will check that all these genes contain the HSP70 domain or not. If any gene that didn't have that HSP70 domain so we will discard it because that genes didn't belong to this family. So first we select all, copy, write the motif finder in Google, open the window, then Paste your sequence and compute. Now you check one by one that every gene contains that HSP70 domain or not. So here you can see that almost all the genes containing the HSP70 domain. Now we are sure that these genes are belong to HSP70 protein family in the tomato genome. Now we will do further analysis like uh, their physical properties, gene structure, motive analysis, their phylogeny relationship. All these we will do in the next video. Hopefully this video will help you in learning the study and you will get the benefit from it. Thank you for watching.